Okay, so uh, here we are, it's dry rock speaking, and we're on uh, a busy road in Leeds, as you can see. Um, I'm on the scaffolding, um, probably about, I don't know, 20 feet up. And um, we're looking at this end terrace house constructed in a combination of brickwork and stone. Uh, the reason you can see the brickwork is uh, approximately a week ago, this gable fell down. Uh, the outer skin peeled away on a windy day. Uh, chimney went with it and as you can see it's uh, very badly damaged um, several tons of stone which have now been uh, collected on one side in readiness for dressing and rebuilding um, you can actually see where the through stones have pulled out of the wall here here and further down here uh, one or two fruit stones remaining in situ. So we've got a, a row of what, what was uh, fruit stones here, and um, gradually that's managed to stop things going down to ground level. Um, we're here because the structural engineers need a solution to tie the remaining stone areas. As you can see, we've got a rubble filled cavity, fairly compacted at lower level. Um, so we've specified a Syntec grounded anchor system into the stone areas. Um, these anchors inflate and allow it a good installation and uh, an excellent fix even in rubble like this. Uh, the exposed brickwork is going to receive a starter tie system, basically resin bonded stainless steel helifix ties will be installed into these brick areas. Um, once we've done that, uh, those ties will be in a position that will be left sticking out of the wall so, so that the brick layer can uh, build around them. And we'll also take the opportunity to provide this gable with some better lateral restraint and that will be done by placing additional fixings into the ends of the floor joists. As you can see, we've got floor joists here. Uh, we may as well use these as restraints. So we're going to put some fixings into the end grain of those and they'll, them too will be bedded into the uh, external stone. And if we look up the gable, we'll see, we can see the purlins sticking out. Um, so of course, I'll give you, give you a wipe. Uh, so of course, when we've got the uh, up there, we'll uh, we'll secure the purlins as well <coughs> to the edge of the um, outer leaf, so that the wall is given modern standards of restraint. Uh, so basically, each of these purlins you can see here will receive a stainless steel tie, and we'll also put a number of ties along the verge detail into the first rafter there, and they can be installed as well into the external stone so that our client can be assured that something as dreadful as this is never going to happen again. Um, surprisingly, this client can't claim on their insurance. Apparently this sort of thing's wear and tear. So just a cautionary tale there. If there's any suggestion of bulging bowing or lack of wall ties, um, do take it seriously. It's no good hoping that uh, when things go wrong the insurance will pay out. And also bear in mind that on one windy Friday afternoon, I would say that's about 10 tons of stone suddenly fell off this gable. I wouldn't have liked to have been somebody walking past it. Uh, so that's Dry Rock signing off. Thank you very much.